Hey guys and welcome back to another video. In this video, you're probably noticing something a little different. One, I'm playing on PC. Two, you've probably not seen this game before. I know I haven't done a video in a while. I've been busy dealing with uh, our lovely IRL stuff, as always. But, I recently got approached from a dev studio about covering this game in a sponsored stream, which I did yesterday. So if you want to check out that stream, you can do through my Twitch channel. This video isn't sponsored or anything. I chose to do this video. I've not been paid or promoted to make this video. But I wanted to cover a video about it anyway because when I was playing it on stream yesterday I really did enjoy this game and I feel like it deserves a bit more attention than it, what it might get. So this video is hopefully going to bring a bit of attention to this game. So in this game we're playing, you play basically play as a SWAT team and you have to go into intense missions, save civilians, kill the bad guys or arrest the bad guys depending on if they're hostile or not. If a bad guy surrenders you have to arrest him and not kill him. If you kill him you fail the mission. This game is meant to be played with friends, so I am playing with my brother, as most of you who will be watching this video should know. Good old Hitch. Hitch, say hello. Hello. So, we're going to be going through a mission, hopefully show you guys a bit of gameplay and what this game's about. But, before we do that guys, if you want to check out this game, you can check it out on Steam. I will leave a link in the description. I do have some beta keys if you want to, the beta keys to give the game a go now. It isn't out yet, but you can wishlist it on Steam if you so want to. But... If you want a beta key to play it now, I do have a few to give away. So if you want those, let me know and I will uh, give them out. But also, if you want to check out Hitch's stream, there'll be a link to that in the description. I recommend go drop him a follow. I'm sure you would appreciate it. And if you want to check out my stream, you are welcome to do so in the description as well. So with that being said, guys, I want to go into the game and we're going to play, show you guys a bit of gameplay, what this game's about and hopefully show you its pros because this game is a good game. Are you ready, Hitch? Oh, absolutely. All right, let's go. So, you are. I, I do like the circle concept. I'm not. I don't know if this game would work, essentially with people. I feel like the targets being this far up, like top view. I feel like the targets would probably be a, uh, a bit much. But we can look under doors and get an idea. I always forget to click hold. So as you can see, we've got two hostiles in the building. We're gonna pick the lock and hopefully go in. Three. Okay, we've got three in the building. All right, let's get ready. Whoa, I I'm dead. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Oh, I'm dead already. No. <laughs> Alright, let's restart. Let's restart. We're right at the start of the mission, so. That was a that was a practice run. So as you can see, guys, a few shots in this game, and you are essentially dead. It's game over. So you have to be um very careful in everything you do. There is a difficulty curve to this game, so yeah, as you guys just saw me die pretty miserably. But that's what this game's about. The difficulty is meant to be there. I believe they are working on the difficulty to get an idea over the beta because this game is in beta right now. So what you see, might see on this video in a few months down the line might be completely different. But this is the game as of now, the 25th of February, 2020. All right, let's give this another go. And one thing I do want to mention about this game is the, oh, this guy right, got him. What? He was hostile. Oh my God. Looks like we're restarting again. He was definitely hostile. So, like I said, guys, this game, <laughs> it does have a difficulty curve to it. Everything matters. Oh, trying to get a perfect score in this game is uh, like running the London Marathon. So, let's give it another go. That, that was another practice run, okay? Okay, that was a practice run. There's nothing, you know, that wasn't, that wasn't, yeah, wasn't, wasn't quite. The real, the real run. This is the real run now, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go. I'm not used to a guy being at the door. Alright. We got one hostile right over the right. Oh, fuck it. Let's just keep going. Yeah. <laughs> I want to show a bit more of the gameplay for the viewers rather than the same thing over and over. Should we do the basement first? Yeah, let's go basement first. So we can cut the power. We got one guy downstairs. Oh. I got shot. <laughs> and she's dead. 
Oh, es ist gar nicht das da. As you can see, guys, we are now in a bit of a standoff. Let's cut the power. Is it going to let me cut the power? Whoa! That guy scared the. He just popped around the corner. Like, what? Is, scared the crap out of me, bro. Let's pick. So, guys, you got to pick up all the evidence. Evidence is important, obviously. If you're playing as a police officer, you need all the evidence that you can get. You can't normally cut this power, but it's not letting me do it for some reason. I wonder if it's because the guy is uh... So Hitch is dead at the minute, and obviously in this game there is no reviving. If you are dead, there are healing stations, as you can see in the top right of the map flashing. Um, but if you die, actually die, that's it, you're out for the mission. I don't think it's going to let me cut the power, is it? But we'll keep moving. So as you can see guys, one shot is uh, game over. But you can't actually go at least, sirs, I didn't even know that. Whoa. I didn't know this was, oh it's just a, okay. Oh, so you can go in through the basement. That would probably be better to think for next time. Whoa. Oh. I just shot the explosive. <laughs> he just went boom. Like so as you can see, when the on the map, when the uh, when you've switched a room, it shows up in like the blue color. When you've not switched a room, it shows up in as you can see like the gray color with lines through it. Okay, that evidence. Oh, we don't. Whoa! I'm gonna try. And... Shit, 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 shit. I've got the wrong gun out. I've got the wrong gun out! I'm trying to switch my phone. Right, he should be flashed now, shouldn't he? How come he didn't get flashed? The flash has to be closer to him. Okay. So as you can see, obviously visibility is a big part of this game as well. It's still not saying I've cleared this floor. I imagine I have to go down to this room. Here. We got hostiles in there. No, but we got to pick up this evidence. So as you can tell, you go through floor by floor and as the floor clears, it does give you a notification. So we are now going to go back up to the ground floor where we was initially and hopefully clear out that floor. Oh. So I died. <laughs> so we took out those two hostiles. That could attract more hostiles though. So I've just been injured there, I think. Yeah, I have. Yeah. I'm now moving slower because of my injury. So that is a thing as well. If you get injured, you do it does affect your mobility. So it is going for that kind of realism gameplay. Mechanically, obviously graphical wise, I wouldn't say it's realistic or anything, but I think mechanical wise, as in like the gameplay itself is very realistic. Everything you do matters. Every choice you make. Before we unlock this door, we're gonna look under the door again. And the controls do take a bit of getting used to, but I think we're just gonna keep this going. But I think once you get used to the controls, you kind of you're pretty good to go. So we do have night vision as well. There's no one in there. So there is a dead dude on the other side of this door. Let's go and be cautious. Take our time. Scout through the room. So he's surrendered, so we have to arrest this guy. If you kill this dude, you'd fail the mission. So this guy is now handcuffed, so he can no longer be a threat. And as you can see, because I'm injured, I am moving slower and I'm leaving blood everywhere I go. Because my dude's kind of, uh, he's been shot. 
He isn't happy. So this game voice acting wise, it does have basic in-game voice acting, but not much voice acting outside of that. Let's go. So we've got to go in through room by room. I could look under each of these doors individually if I wanted to. Which probably would be the most cautious approach. But we're being a rebel. Oh, there we go. We have now cleared this floor, so we need to move up to the next floor. Bearing in mind, our guy is still injured. And Hitch is still dead. <laughs> R.I.P. Hitch, this is where he died. Yep, just about to go up the st downstairs to the basement. <laughs> Oh, I've... there you go. I died. <laughs> I came up the stairs and then I got shot. We both died on the stairs, Hitch. <laughs> so we'll give it another go just for the sake of this video and then we'll leave it there. I'll go over what I think of this game in general. what And maybe a few sections where I think it could improve, a few sections where I think it stands out. And we'll do a bit of a, like, a small, basically, overview of the game. But I want to give this mission another go with Hitch because Hitch died right at the start of the time. So I think this time Hitch will go round to the basement and try and go through that way if you want. Yeah, I'll try to do that, yeah, yeah. That's probably the better way approach, I think. Plus, if you do want to see more of this, we do stream it. Yeah, I, I, after this video goes out, I will be streaming tonight some more of this game. So, around, once this video is released, roughly, I should also be streaming this game. So, if you are watching this video upon release, make sure to check out my stream in the description below. And, and Hitch, if, he's, if Hitch, if he's, he might be streaming it, I'm not sure. So, um, when this video is released, make sure to stop by the link in the description and uh, we'll be streaming it. Come say hi. So, this time we're not going to go through the front door, we're actually going to go around the back and go through the basement. I think that's the better approach. Oh, we have been seen. Whoa! Shots fired. Did you get him? I got him. Alright, okay, good. It was, it was actually in. <laughs> yeah, the windows. Yeah. I'll wait for you before we go in. Yeah, I'm waiting right now. So we'll collect that evidence when we've gone through the basement and up through the... Uh, when we go through the floor. Nice. Oh, so that guy went hostile. Because if you see, like, there's... Because uh, when we crouch... The highlighted circle, like, shot glows in purple. This means we're crouched. And ob obviously, why we're crouched, we make less noise, and you can crouch behind. But it also affects your visibility. Oh, he's surrendered. Got him. You go arrest and collect his weapon. I'm collecting a weapon, anyway. Yeah, got him. So Hitch is arresting that guy. Of the music when yeah, I like it. The audio in this game is very, very high quality, to be honest. So we got to move and cover this door. Leave him arrested. And that's everyone on this floor. We can, uh, there might be a guy in here. There's a guy in here sometimes, so I'm gonna. Right, clear. The power's cut. Nice. So we've just cut the power from the building, so everything's gonna be dark now, but we have uh, torches, obviously. So we do have like an advantage. Is this the guy you shot earlier? Yeah. Okay, his guns. Okay, keep an eye out. If you don't collect the guns, uh, you can the enemies can pick up other people's guns, so I'll make sure to always pick up. I don't have a clear shot. He's give up. He's give up. Closing this door, so. Such in here. Clear. You arrest that guy. Yeah, I'm careful now because it is in the open. Yeah. Covering. 
good. I'm gonna shoot. Oh. I'm gonna. No, we'll go for the big one because that's the more dangerous one. So I've just shut that door though. Play it. Do this one, what we Play it. I'm gonna check outside here first. Okay. Yeah, you, you probably shouldn't have done I'm that. Yeah, I was gonna click B for going under the door, but I think um, I kicked all the best. <laughs> Friendly fire is a thing in this game, by the way, guys, as well, so uh, just make sure to keep that in mind. Oh, I, he popped out. <laughs> and then they give up. <laughs> oh, he, he just picked his gun back up. As you see there, guys, he just picked his gun back up. He surrendered and then decided to pick his gun back up. I'll rest him before it all kicks off again. <laughs> yeah. Don't forget to pick up the weapons. Yeah, I will I'll let Hitch play through this round and uh, I'll do a bit of commentary while we wait. Yeah. Another gun there, yeah. So you probably see that we crouched a lot. Crouching a lot makes no movement noise. Obviously you still make your gun noise if you shoot, but you make no movement noise. And as you can see, one mistake in this game is life or death. So as you saw, I made one mistake. I, didn't, I missed my shotgun shot and that was it. Obviously, visibility is a major thing in this game. If you uh, crouch, your visibility is reduced because obviously your torch doesn't go above the. Uh, you're in cover, essentially. Your torch doesn't always go above. So, Hitch has now cleared this floor. It's time to move up to the second floor where I died straight off. He's okay to run about now, as you can see, because obviously the floor's clear. That's the basement. We've done, we've done, the, we've done the basement, yeah. So he's now he's looking under the door. I saw the torch on the right, see it? Yeah, someone's yeah. Co someone's coming around that corner. There's a guy on your left as well, right at the top. He's up there though, I'd worry about him first. He's making a run for it. So he hit... So he was back enough, he could have been gone back off to pick up another weapon, you don't know. Another guy on your right. He surrendered. Oh, he's picking his gun back up. So other hostiles could have heard those gunshots, there could be more hostiles on the way. The AI in this game is clever. They will group up. They could surrender, wait for his pal to come around the corner and then pick up his gun again. That's why Hitch went in for the quick arrest on that guy to prevent him from picking up a weapon. And hopefully you guys can hear the audio pretty clearly. The music in this game is one of my favorite things so far. The, the quality of music just adds to the tensity of the situation. See, it gives up. Get the gun so you can't pick him up. I think that was the civilian. But you, you still arrest civilians, obviously, to, uh, as a precaution. I know civilians can pick up guns. Well, if they're friendly civilians, they won't pick up guns, but we don't know the difference, so you arrest everyone as a precaution. As you can see, that dude's icon showed as a fist to mean he's, uh, he's unarmed in that situation. But it is possible, yeah, as Hitch says, they can pick up a gun and shoot if, they, if they're not actually a friendly civilian.
Nice. Cage has been injured. Yeah. I wouldn't use the health booth though, because you get a, we get a bonus equip and you get the special equipment if you complete it without. And you still, you still, I think you've only took a uh, armor wound. Yeah, not bleeding a ton, so am I. So as you can see, if I load up the UI, you can see on the right, we've cut the power, so if we complete this mission, we get a different gun, and uh, if you complete the mission without using a health station, we get another, basically, uh, item, I believe, or a medal. And if we flashbang three, yeah. if we flashbang three people, some free characters with one flashbang, you get another. Uh, you get an award for that as well. So as you can see, the missions are pretty lengthy. There are time gates for extra awards. You don't have to complete it in that time. But I recommend for your first try, not actually going for the uh, time trial. Get used to where enemies are positioned, the layout of the building, and that kind of thing. It's, you have to kick it in. Ow! And Hitch got took the fuck out! <laughs> so we'll continue to debrief him for this, for the sake of this video and time. So this the debriefing is going to give us an idea of how we did, basically. Here we are. So we can see we didn't complete all objectives. We got no infractions. Oh, apparently we did. Ah, we didn't. It's just because we didn't complete the mission. Evidence collected. All chances complete. Obviously, there you go. Perfect. So we didn't do very well that game, obviously, because we both died in the situation. So, but all kills were justified. We had no one. We had no excessive force or unjustified kills. So for the sake of this video guys, I'm going to end it here. I just want to talk before I end it though, I just want to go over the what I enjoy about this video and such and such. Uh, sorry, this game, not the video. I enjoy this video as well, but you know. So guys, for a game in open beta, this game is a very high quality product. The gameplay itself is very smooth. Uh, it takes a bit of time to get used to the controls, but once you're used to the controls, it is a fun game. Definitely a fun game to jump on with friends. The gameplay itself is very mechanically, is very realistic. I think the graphics works. For the idea that they're going for. Uh, initially I did want them to obviously switch to characters instead of the circles but for the top-down view I believe the circles is a lot better and a lot smoother and a lot easier to play with especially with the difficulty of the game itself. So overall I would recommend playing this game guys. If you do want to give this game a go make sure to check it out in the uh, description below. I will leave a link to the Steam page where you can wishlist it. I also have some beta keys. If you do want some beta keys leave a comment below or drop me a DM or whatever you prefer. So, the game overall is a very good game, and I would recommend, obviously, giving it a try. There are a few issues with the game that's being said. I found myself getting stuck on an infinite loading screen a few times, and it took some time to get the servers, figure out how the servers work, and get in, into playing with my friends. But once you got it figured out, it is pretty good. Um, but there are a few issues with loading screens and not being able to connect to your friends, but that's the only issues I've found. The game itself and the gameplay itself is very good and very smooth, and I've not seen any major problems in there. The only thing I have seen, I've certain a weapons dropped somewhere and I've not been able to pick it up because of the uh, the location it was dropped at. It was an unreachable location, but that's probably the only problem I've seen during the gameplay. But overall, for a game in open beta, I believe it has a lot of potential, a very high quality game, and I 100% recommend checking this game out. If you do want to check it out, like I said, I would leave a link in the description for you guys. And if you want to check out our streams when this video is released, I'll probably be streaming. So if you want to check out mine or Hitchy's stream, click. I will leave links to both of those below. But other than that, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. It is something a little different, I really, but I do hope you enjoy it. And I will hopefully get back to regular uploading now I've got some stuff done that needs to get done. But that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace!